Mary meet again. So here we are today. We're going to be taking on the multiple soup recipe. So this I am I'm hoping will go decently easy. I'm a little nervous about the eggs for binding because I am going to go ahead and use a flaxseed egg, but we'll get into that later. Uh, we are straight just going to be using the Manchewich prepared mix because I just don't see any reason like why to make it more difficult. This is something how like my family would always prepare it whenever we had mozzarella well soup. So just saying. Uh, but yeah, and so that way the only thing I saw we really have to replace are these eggs. Otherwise it looked like it was perfectly vegan. If there is something I missed, please feel free to educate me. But we're going to go ahead and get started and this should just be a good time. So yeah, see you real soon. Merry meet again. So here we are. This is our two flax eggs in here and then we have the matzo ball mixture here we're gonna go ahead and use some kitchen scissors to cut it um sorry i was like maybe i should have done the oil first it's it's all getting mixed together it'll be fine <laughs> um and then we're doing two tablespoons of oil i just happen to have avocado oil so that's just what i'm using um could i probably be measuring this more yes but i'm really just going based off intuition and trust you know so yeah Let's go ahead. We're gonna mix this all with a fork. And so this is actually, I think, going to be very supportive for our flax egg in itself because in theory, this is like, oh, you're breaking the yolk. Make sure it's all binding together. And we can kind of see that here. So very nice. I think if you're like nervous about it, like you can add a little bit more oil to it. Uh, you can always add more versus less like for me I like this mixture I think this is going to be probably as good as we can get and then it recommends us putting this in the fridge to chill for about 15 minutes and while we're doing that we will then go ahead and work on the um on mixing the soup base and so yeah for the soup base we <laughs> aren't going to show this part yet because it's literally just mixing the packet of soup mix into a pot of water and then while we're waiting on that, I will show you when we actually are dropping the muscle balls into the soup later though, but <laughs> we will be back here to form this while the soup gets started on the stove. See you in about 15 minutes. Well, for me. <laughs> Merry meet again. So here we are. I have my hands wet. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hopefully form some muscle balls. And we're just gonna, honestly, like just, it says to do like one inch in diameter uh and so for that it's just you want to make sure that they get cooked while you drop them into the water and you simmer them for long enough but it's really great soup with that we're just gonna go ahead i definitely recommend getting your hands wet i thought i would make it like weird but it's totally makes it more effective so i'm gonna go ahead finish forming these balls and then i will check in with you guys when we are dropping them into our soup which is smelling so good right now but yeah <laughs> see you soon marry me again so here we are we have this soup here boiling it's reached boiling point multiple times so i'm not really concerned if it's like at the right level or not and then what we're going to do i'm realizing i could have done this a lot safer but we are here now is we're gonna go ahead drop our matzo balls in here and then we're going to cover it with a lid for about 20 minutes and we're just trying to make sure that it gets completely cooked it's gonna help soak in some of those juices I did worry that this was like too much water because I was like this feels like a really light <laughs> like a really light sauce oh no one of my fears is happening I was afraid that they would fall apart within the thing because I was like wow these the flaxseed is really like coming together it's kind of really working out and now here we are so worst case scenario it falls apart in the soup, but we have gotten this far and I'm proud of us for that. Right now, we are just needing to simmer this and then from there, we will go ahead and hopefully see our final product, delicious matzo ball soup. And I will check in with you guys super soon. Merry meet again. So you can kind of see um, what we saw at the beginning. It completely fell apart. What I will say though, because all the flavor is still there, it tastes exactly like it. So like it just, you don't get that that fun texture of a dumpling unfortunately but you do get all of the flavor so that at least is a win so that's how i'm gonna take it away from here i will say maybe uh instead i could have done just egg because that might have acted a little bit more like how we needed the egg to 
or I think there's some recipes where you can actually like pan fry the um, the matzo balls first and then maybe that would have helped keep them their structure but this is at least really good so I'm gonna go ahead have some challah bread with this and I will see you guys in the next one and we are going to be doing black and white cookies